Hello and welcome all. So this is the second lecture. In the first lecture on ML.NET, we have seen the regression analysis, linear regression analysis with hello ML.NET. And this time we are going to analyze the sentiment of website comments in a web application using ML.NET model builder. And it is divided into several parts. This is the first part. So what we learn today, you can follow me on these profiles. Okay. And we shall learn how to install model builder for ml.net create an asp.net core razor pages application prepare and understand the data so here are some prerequisites you need to have uh, visual studio 2017 version 59 or later or visual studio 9 to 2019 which i recommend visual studio 2019 community edition so and you need to have dotnet core 2.1 sdk or later and there are some limitations at the moment because model builder is in uh, preview at the moment and it has got uh, only it works on visual studio on windows and it has got a training data set limit of 1 gb and sql server has a limit of 100000 rows of training and microsoft sql server data tools for visual studio is not supported so let's switch over to learning something about the model builder because this tutorial is built on model builder from Microsoft. So before starting on model builder, let me tell you that I have taken this tutorial from the Microsoft article. This is the original documentation, analyze sentiment of website comments in a web application using ML.NET model builder. And this will be in the YouTube video description again. So let's read a little bit about model builder. ML.NET model builder is an intuitive graphical Visual Studio extension to build, train, and deploy custom machine learning models. And model builder uses automated machine learning to explore different machine learning algorithms and settings to help you find the one that best suits your scenario. You don't need to have machine learning expertise to use model builder. All you need to know and need to have is some data and a problem to solve. Model builder generates the code to add the model to your .NET application, okay? So we'll run through, um, there are several scenarios that it can handle, and we'll run through our um, relevant scenario for this application on sentiment analysis. So I've switched over to Visual Studio 2019, and I have to create a ASP.NET Core Web application, and click on Next, and I'll give the name Sentiment Razor, for this project. Sentiment Razor and click on create and it will create the ASP.NET Core web application. So it is now um, highlighted on web application. We'll go for this. Okay, .NET, ASP.NET Core 3.1, .NET Core and configure for HTTP is fine and let these two remain unchecked. Okay and then click on create. I'll come back when the project is created. Now this project is created for me and I have to install the uh, model builder, but I have already installed it. So I will tell you the steps you need to do for doing it in the first time, the first time. So extension, manage extension, and online is click for me. Um, so I need to search for install because it is already there, ML.NET model builder preview. So in case it was not installed, then you have to search for this um, ML.NET model builder, right? So in my case, I could either disable it or revert it to some older version, but you know, it is already installed. But you have the general, the step is this, what I have shown again, um, extension manage extension and look for the um, version on the online tab now once this project is created what i will do i'll go back to the original article on which this is based and i will now have to prepare and understand the data for which i will actually right click and open this data set in a new tab now this data set it is actually uh, TSV file, tab separated value, and it has got actually three headers, sentiment, sentiment text, and logged in. Logged in is actually, you can ignore this, it doesn't carry any meaning. So all is actually, that is relevant for us is the sentiment, that is one and zero. So one 
is actually a, a toxic sentiment and zero is a non-toxic so you can yourself judge like this you know if i just um, um, amplify this this magnify this you can now it is easier to read so sentiment one is rude do do you have the rude upload that call picture back okay and that is a of course a toxic sentiment it's a um, something that is rude uh, this data set is actually our guide for training the model okay so what we'll do we'll get back to the visual studio and right click on this project uh, first of all before that we have to save this data set somewhere anywhere you can say save as let us save it on this directory it doesn't matter we'll see why any path you can say basically okay so save as this and then come back to visual studio now let's leave it at that in the next lecture we'll see a scenario a particular scenario and load the data and train the model so in this lecture we have seen how to use the ml.net model builder and what a model builder is in nutshell and how do you use it in a sentiment analysis project with asp.net core web in which we have seen that webs i mean this is people comments that depending upon whether the comment is toxic or non-toxic i mean if the comment is very aggressive or rude that can be classified as toxic and if it is a uh, cool comment on the other hand so praise or something uh, pleasing to the um, eyes then it will be classified into non-toxic and that is known as sentiment analysis so see you